guys how's it going <clears throat> we made that little intro there with uh exhale here um we have three different uh kind of styles that exhale does it has a note mode a loops mode and a slice mode i was using one of each um, in note mode i was using raw uh, the raw sample files in here and then loops and slices i just kind of picked some random um, presets <clears throat> to throw in there on that so kind of dis demonstrate the three styles that we kind of get out of it uh, so here we go we're going to uh, dive into this thing here uh, we're going to start in notes and we are going to the initial settings here so we can get to the raw sound files we're going to turn off uh, the rhythm and the effects engine as well now like the rest of the products uh, um, well the ones that I've done uh, reviews on us so far. Uh, let's see, analog brass and winds, and we talked about analog strings, and I think uh, a couple other products. Um, not sure which ones I've done, but they are kind of the same here. So you get a sound source A, a sound source B. Uh, we can turn that on. These are going to give you the same kind of options for picking out your sound source but you get to layer them so we're just going to concentrate on sound source a right now we're going to keep this as simple as possible and as raw as possible so when we go into here um, first of all you you have an on off obviously and we can reverse we have volume control pan control and tune and then we can actually click down here to see a waveform and start for it so with that being said we can go in here and see what we are getting what are we paying for here so we're going to kind of just run through it because i want you guys to hear every single sound um because i wish i could have found a video like i like what am i getting here what am i getting for the raw sounds uh so here we are i'm, I'm doing it for everybody uh, so we're going to start into one shots so when we come in here you can see that we have kind of a, a, a key guide up here source icon guide we can tell kind of by by the pictures they do such a great job with their UI and letting you know a lot of information by their symbols and the way things are lit up when they're yellow or white uh, it's kind of obvious what is going on no matter where you're at in one of their products so we we'll start off with the soft, short ah. Uh, you can tell if it's a female. Sorry, I didn't mean to step all over that. I just kind of like that one. All right, so that was one shots. Now we're in pads. So we'll check that out. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. Uh. 
making sure there's no effects on it. I, I think they just put a lot of effects on their original ones to change them up. But their specialty is, uh, you know, being outside of the box. And for that, you gotta appreciate what this is. And for the quality and price, it's definitely, uh, you know, cheaper than the other ones. Uh, and you got plenty to work with. And definitely good quality. section now we're in tape tape's going to give us some um, uh, different options with uh, the sample up here if we hit the waveform guy down here when we're in tape we can see that we get some other functions now we have a start this is where the sample is going to start and this is where it's going to loop so as of right now we would start here and then it'd loop back and it's on a one bar loop, so that's going to match whatever is going on in our DAW and make things uh, line up to the beat. We can also change that in here. We can go all the way up to a 64th of triplets, and that actually can probably give us some cool, uh, almost uh, granular synthesis kind of style here. Weird. Yeah, um, maybe not so quite, <laughs> but that was fun to do anyway. That's what we're here for. So you get some uh, really cool things that you can do in here, and it's going to sync up, uh, like you said, uh, I like the, the function here of having this on that's going to click right into the beat and you're going to be on it you know so let's put this back on bar and we're going to run through some of the samples real quick and get through tape one and tape two as fast as we can here <laughs> That is a perfect example of how good um, this tape thing can get. That's a really, really good example. I really like that one right there. Dirty. Once you do one, it's, con it's controlling for them all. And you just kind of see what tape is doing. Get some uh, cool little stutter pieces and, and things like that going on. And you can absolutely, uh, you know, map this controller out to something and, and play with it in real time, which would give you some really cool, um, some cool things to do with it. Anyway, um, that's going through the note section here. We come back out to the main here, and we can see that we are in note. 
Um, our next section will be loops. Now loops to me seem kind of like a performance type of mode. We'll just go ahead and turn this effects engine off. I just want just what it is. So up here we get a one octave here and we get samples on each one of these keys. Now these samples are going to be in the key of whatever you choose here. So let's just go ahead and choose C minor. Uh, C, we can see major and minor here and we just hit OK. So now our every one of our samples that are down here are going to be played in C minor. So the only thing that I didn't see that I uh, on, on here was um, I would kind of like to maybe choose which sample goes on which key. And there probably is something that I, I just, I'm not seeing it. And, and output usually makes things pretty easy to follow. So I'm wondering if there's just not one. So if anybody knows uh, uh, that I can do that, please comment in the, in, in the comments. Let me know about that. As far as I know, you pick from these, uh, I would say like these little performance palettes or kits, or uh, you can see even some of them are called kits. Uh, we get two pages of those. And and so that's uh, two pages of 12 different samples on each one of these. So it's, it's a good bit amount of sound, but picking which ones go in the kit would be something that I would like to do. Uh, so on that, we have a volume, a formant shift, cool stuff right there, dude. One of my favorite little buttons there. And then our speed, you know, we can uh, double it and we can do halftime things which are just cool you know uh, that's a something that you hear going on a lot with vocals now uh, half timing uh, a drop which is super cool so here we're just gonna pick a couple uh, I'm not gonna go through them all but I want to give you guys kind of a an overview of what the, what is going on with this here so um, And you can see up here we can we can control Now see what I end up usually doing is I, I find like one or two samples that I kind of like on there and I just, that's all I'm using it for. I don't even use the rest of them. That's why I wish I could like pick which one goes on these keys. There's got to be some kind of a, something that I'm missing there. Um, but... So you see you got this performance mode kind of thing going on uh, in this section and loops and pretty cool I definitely would like to be able to have more control over which one goes where but I'm not saying that it doesn't do that I'm just saying I haven't figured it out yet um, so yeah and then definitely uh, you turn this engine on down here we'll get into this a little, a little bit later um, you know we have a lot of stuff that we you're gonna take these sounds and you've got a, an infinite amount of ways of manipulating them to something else so not complaining there it's very uh, uh i'll figure that out if if not <clears throat> on to slices slices are going to be kind of like a another kind of a performance mode because you're just going to have a sample that is sliced up like you would do in simpler uh you know a slice x on uh, FL Studios, or it's just going to slice the sample up onto your keys here. You can see that we got an, uh, an octave there. Let's go into here, and let's go into initial, and let's go into engine. Let's turn off the effects engine, and like I said, we'd like to get to just what's going on here. And you can see that we have like almost the same thing as the uh, loops. Um, menu here we have one page and then page two and we can just go through this really quick here you 
Yeah, so this is going to be really cool for getting those, um, you know, that sound that's in right now, it seems to be. And definitely with this uh, format shift here. That's the secret knob. It's the secret sauce right there, man. Uh, definitely is cool. Uh, and same with this thing here, too. Uh, that's awesome. And as well, uh, as, uh, along when you're doing things, I think you can have a reset all and reset volume and things get a little bit weird. Uh, you have that. <laughs> Because you can change some, uh, you can change some of the uh, the sounds here, or you can change the start, reverse it, pan it, loop it. I'm still like looking for a way to change the actual sample. Mm. Like, you think they would have something right here that would say exchange or, or something like this over there, but you click on that, and this is what you get. Anyway. Keep on going on. I keep on getting stuck on that. Oh, oh. Seeing it when I first opened it up, I thought it was gonna be more like this. Tell me, no, no, yeah. Tell me, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me, no, yeah, no. Tell me, no, yeah. Tell me, no, no, yeah, yeah. Tell me, no. Tell me, where are we all going? Yeah, so you get some uh, cool chops. You, 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 no, no, no. No. I feel like they could have definitely given us uh more of these two pages of that. I I like it, and there's definitely plenty to work with, but uh, this is like probably my favorite section here. These slices are just super cool. Um, I wish I had more selection, but that's us not even jumping into this effects engine. Let's go ahead and talk about this now real quick. Um, so... <clears throat> Outputs thing is uh, letting you modulate and 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 pulsate the sounds and uh, do really crazy things with uh, taking your samples to a whole nother level. So we turn our effects engine on and we can see that we have some uh, looks like we have some presets here uh, to get you started in some kind of a right direction because there's a lot going on here. So. We're not going to get into that. We'll get maybe mess with that later. But if you want to, to head that way, then you can start there with that. 
For right now, we're going to keep it very simple so I can actually show you what's going on with everything. So let's go here, and you can see we have uh, uh, oh, shapes. We have simple, medium, and some complex ones. So you can pick out of that. We're just going to stay with a sine wave real quick here. We can phase lock and unlock that, and then you can see that our wave is right here. And... Um, giving us some waves, we got our rates and our timing here. Uh, note length, anyway, and flux. Uh, you, I mean, you tell me what flux does. I have no idea. Um, I think I've seen it on another one there. I just not really sure what it does, man. I'm, I'm embarrassed to say <laughs> it, it fluxes, dude. <laughs> and down here, we can see we go right into our uh, effects here. So we can turn these on. Another thing I like about the UI is uh, you never really lost of what's happening in here. And we can see everything very easily and where their parameters are at, their colors, and how they have it set up is just brilliant. It's one of my favorite things. I'm never lost in their UI. I know where I'm going. Um, down here we have more. We can turn these on and uh, you know get crazy with everything. <laughs> We also have a uh, step here. Uh, I wanted to bring that up here really quick. You can choose how many steps. So this would be more like a, a gate type of thing. So you have all kinds of uh, modulations here to, to mess with things. Um, yeah, and uh, here you can see like uh, down on the bottom, I don't know why they did this. Uh, I don't know what the difference was, but they give you knobs. And here, volume, pan, and filter, they give you... Uh, you can see like this little yellow bar here. I thought that was a, a little, well, that's a mount. And then you got controls down here too as well. So both the controls for the top and bottom end up showing up in the middle. I thought that was kind of weird too. But then you have the mounts and things. So it works out. It is what it is. So that's the effects engine going down. They kept it kind of simple and exhale. Uh, which has got plenty enough going on for it. Let's go back to the main section here, and last but not least, we're going to talk about this macro uh, area right here. So, unlike their uh, the newer stuff, uh, the macro here is a little bit different, and I I like both styles, but I think I actually kind of like this one better for some reason. Let's go ahead and pick out a um preset here for us uh it doesn't really matter let's just go into loops pick a dreamy i want something that's going to have some uh stuff set up on the uh, macros already so we come in here and we can see our macros are going to be controlling things if we go into the macro settings we can see we are on one we choose one we can see what's happening on macro one and it's got the shift right there. That's my 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 sweet sauce button right there. Um, and they've they've named it talk. Um, so you can click on this thing here and name it whatever you want um, to your liking. So you can kind of know what what you're doing at a glance. So if we hit on two, you can see that two has more going on there. Source A, dirt, saturation. I think if you hit this button, it's going to take you over there and show you where it's at. It highlighted it for you. It said, boom, this is what you're messing with. That is super cool. Super, super cool. It's one of my favorite things about this. And also, when you're editing this too as well, I think that you don't have to leave uh, the page that you're at. So, like, say we're in, we're in macros right now. Let's go into engine and say we were in here messing with the filter and we're like oh man that's that rezo sounds cool man i need to assign that to that uh to the uh macro three so we just hit macro here pick three and hover over the rezo and then we can assign it boom it's on there we can remove uh them while it's on without even leaving this page the other ones don't do that uh like with uh, analog brass and lens i don't think they do anyway I hate saying things like that, like I'm sure of myself, but I didn't seem, this is a kind of a feature that stands out to me. I think I would have seen that. <clears throat> anyway, 
the macro is so easy to set up super cool we just hover boom click it and you're done we can go back over here and take a look at it you get six uh, a piece and then we have range control here uh, so you can have a minimum and maximum um, for this so that's super cool and yeah man that's a uh, output exhale very good product I like it a lot they go on sale on Black Friday usually every year around this time um, through November the end of it anyway um, you get a heck of a deal of it off that's when I got it last year super cool product um, that was the core samples and a rundown basic of all the functions without uh, getting too super technical and, and crazy into this uh, instrument here so thanks for stopping by uh, go check out the product man outputs awesome go check out my other videos please like and subscribe thanks for stopping by Krios. Awesome.